hi, this is Richard Crack here. Welcome to another session of my Facebook Live. In today's session, I would like to talk about marketing. And the topic is how to be more persuasive in network marketing. Okay, now, whether you're in network marketing or any business at all, persuasion is a skill that is important, all right? Persuasion is so important, especially for the network marketing business, all right? Because you're always communicating with people and you try to uh, influence people, you try to persuade people. So basically, it's so important to learn this particular skill, all right? Now, before I start, let me share with you, all right, what are the thoughts of most people, all right? Now, do you realize that, all right, we are now in the we generation, okay? Previously, it was the me generation. So during the me generation, as you know, the focus is all on me, all right, on me. That means look at me, listen to me, look at my success, look at the car I drive, look at the house I live in. So that was in the me generation, all right. It used to work many, many years ago, but today we are no longer in the me generation. We are in the we generation. We generation is all about collaboration, about teamwork, working together to make a better world. Okay, so we are in a different uh, world today. We are in the we generation. Okay, so that's why persuasion also is important for you to understand where we are today. Okay, now the important thing is that if you want to be able to persuade people, you must take the focus off you, all right? Take the focus off you and put the focus on your prospect, okay? This is very important because a lot of people, especially those in the me generation, you know, they put their focus on me, me, me all the time. Look at me. Look at how successful I, I am. Look at the income I earn. Look at the car I drive. Look at the house I live in. You know, it's always about me. But today, that does not work anymore because people couldn't be bothered about you. They are more concerned about we together, okay? So basically, so you got to do differently. Ask them questions, all right? Rather than telling them about you and so on, all right? What you need to do is ask questions. This is so important, especially in network marketing. This is what always I do before I start the prospecting at all. I need to find out about the prospect. So what I need to do is that, you know, I want to find out about them, okay? What do they want? What are they looking for, all right? Uh, what are their dreams, all right? What are their dreams and what are their goals, okay? It's so important to find out about them. When you ask them questions to find out about them, it shows that you care, all right? You care about them because you're asking about them rather than telling them about you, all right? So basically, you got to start by asking them questions, all right? About their dream, their goal, and so on. And the most important thing is you got to show them, show them, how your business can help them to achieve what they're looking for. Now you know what they want, what their desire is, what their need is, then you should be able to show them how the network marketing business or your company can help them to achieve what they're looking for. That is the way it should go. That's easy to persuade people. You see, people don't like to be sold. Understand? People don't like to be sold. People don't like to be pushed. But you know, the truth is that people like to buy, all right? But they want to make the decision themselves, okay? So it's important to be able to put the decision making upon them and not you pushing them, okay? So let's have a look. Now, let's look at persuading versus pushing your prospect. Now, this is so important. It's critical, you know? A lot of people are pushing the prospect all the time. When you push, they will run away, all right? Rather than, you know, you should be persuading them pulling them in using attraction marketing rather than push marketing, all right? So basically, most people are pushing. Do you know when you are pushing? When you are doing a presentation, you are talking about, you know, uh, the features of the product, you know, the benefits of the product, how good the company is and so on. You are pushing to them because you are talking about what? about the company, about the products, and so on. So basically, you are pushing them. All right, this is not the right way. So what you need to do is also don't talk about the company because when you talk about company or you yourself, how good you are, and so on, you know, you are pushing them. All right, so remember, don't talk about the product benefit, the feature, about the company, about you. You are pushing to them when you uh, approach it that way, okay? Now, it's important 
to show them how they can achieve their dream, their desire, their goal. That's why it's important to find out about what they need, what are their goals, and what are their aspirations, and so on. Okay, now let's have a look at prospecting, all right? Now, prospecting, there are two types of prospecting. One is uh, warm market, the other one is cold market. Most people approach the warm market, which is, of course, easier. These are the people that you know, all right? But the cold market is also important. But you see, when you are approaching people in the cold market, especially using social media, because these are people whom you do not know, especially when you are approaching people on social media, these are the people you do not know. So what your aim is, what is your goal here? Your goal is not to try to convince them to join you or to uh, uh, sell your product to them, all right? Your goal is to turn people you do not know, all right? That means your cold market, you are, your main aim is to turn them into warm prospect, all right? So that they know you, they like you, and they trust you. So that's the most important goal, all right? It's not about pushing them, pushing them, but to turn them, this cold prospect, into warm prospect. They become warm prospect the moment they know about you, they like you, and they trust you. Okay, so that's your main goal, especially when you're approaching cold market, all right? You're not approaching cold market if you are on social media trying to push, push, push people. You know, people get disappointed. People don't like you. They will unfriend you, that's for sure. I mean, I personally, last few days, I got people who asked me to be friend, okay? I checked their profile page and so on. Okay, I think they're good. And I accept their friend request, okay? Then after that, what I normally do is that I... I, I was message them and tell them, you know, oh, I accepted your friend request, what do you do, and so on. You know what? The first thing they do is that, you know, they send me their links and so on, ask me to look at their program and so on. Without knowing about me, without me knowing about them, they're already pushing to me. You think that will be successful? You tell me the truth, will that be successful? They are pushing their luck, that's about it, because a lot of people will get discouraged because, hey, you don't even know about me, you're pushing me now just because I accepted your friend request. Uh, uh, just a few minutes ago, now you're pushing me, your, your program, your business, and so on. That's not the way to approach things, okay? That will not work anymore, okay? Those are the traditional way, like me, 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 I'm successful, showing me their, 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 their income, and so on. Come on, come on. You know, that is not the right way to do, all right? You can talk to hundreds or thousands of people, most of them will reject you. I'd rather approach it the proper way and have a few people who... You know, a, a response to my business or whatever it is because these are real, genuine people who really trust you, who like you. Understand? So basically, that is the difference between a uh, warm and cold market. Okay. The sad truth is that most network marketers they skip this process. They skip this process. Building relationship, it takes time, no doubt, right? So they skip this process. They try to push. All right. They try to push. It does not work. All right, so most people skip this process. So I will advise you, I will urge you, if you are doing network marketing or any other business, even affiliate marketing for that matter, all right? Don't push people, okay? Build relationship with people first. Remember, people buy from people they know, they like, and they trust, okay? So that's the most important thing you must understand this. Because why? People who push it that way, you know what? They're assuming everybody are interested in their program or in their business. Hey, come on, you are joking, you know. Not everybody is interested in what you are pushing them. So if you don't find out about them, what they need, the desire is, you push to them, <laughs> I can tell you 100% they're going to reject you. And they probably will not respond to you. You see, a lot of people don't respond to their, their messenger or whatever because why? You push them. All right, and they may end up unfriend you as well. Okay? So basically, don't assume everyone is interested in your business. Are you with me? Find out about them, whether they really need your product, whether they need your business or not, before you talk about it. All right? So, what is the most important here is that you got to ask questions. Asking questions, okay, to get to know your prospect. You got to know them. If you don't know them, how do you approach them? You need to know what are the pain, all right? What are the desire and so on. Then only then, you need to help them to solve the problem. You see, in network marketing, we are a problem solver, okay? We are here to solve people's problem. So, in order to solve people's problem, you need to know about what is the problem. Can you imagine, you know, if you go and visit a doctor, right, okay? The doctor just say, okay, I know what's your problem. Here is the prescription. Go out now. 
No, the doctor will find out, ask questions and find out about you first, right? Okay, what is your problem? What pain you have? How long? And so they will ask you questions. So that's why a doctor also don't just prescribe medication to, to you without asking you questions. So it's important you are in the business whereby you need to know about people. Be patient. I know those people, they don't have the patience to ask questions. They want to go straight to the point. Okay, here's the link. Go and have a look. And you know what they do? They hit and run. They hit and run. You know what? Because the moment I, I tell them, you know, I, 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 I have got my own program as well. They say, okay, no problem. That's it. They leave. I mean, hit and run. They don't need to build relationship. They just go round and round and round and round. You think they'll be successful? Not really, all right? So let's have a look at, uh, you know, a good question that you should ask people, all right? This is a very good question to ask people, which I can uh, uh, share with you here, all right? Would you be open to a side project if it didn't interfere with what you are currently doing? Okay, that is a very soft approach. You are not asking them to join, all right? You are asking them a simple question. You know, would they be open to a side project if it didn't interfere with what they are currently doing? So it's not pushy, right? You're just asking them for an opinion. If they say yes, then you follow up with them. If they say no, then forget about it. All right, don't go argue with them and say why you say it this way. No, 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 no. Just forget it. So questions like this, all right, it's an open-ended question. And basically, you know, it is not very, uh, people won't get defensive with it because why? You're just asking them your opinion. You're not saying, hey, would you like to buy my product? Here's my link. Go have a look at it and then come back to me and see whether you like it or not, you know? So the thing is that you must understand this, all right? Asking questions is very, very important. People don't have patience to ask questions, all right? So let me give you some prospecting tips. I hope you you are looking for it, right? These are some of the prospecting tips that I can give you. But again, like I say all the time, this is only my opinion, all right? So take it with a pinch of salt. If you find that it's good, you please make use of it. If you think it's no good, then forget about it. No problem whatsoever with me. I don't feel insulted, all right? I'm only here to share a value with you. Okay, now the first thing is that you need to get prospect, right? You need to get exposure, you get prospect. So what you can do, you can advertise. One of the ways to advertise, all right? You can advertise on Facebook, all right? A Facebook advertising platform. You can do solo ad, which is quite uh, uh, quite useful, all right? Because a uh, solo ad is basically quite, uh, uh, what do you call? Quite, uh, a lot of people are using it successfully, put it this way, okay? And the other thing is also you can use pay-per-click like Google, AdWords, or even Bing for that matter, okay? This involves money, so you must know what you are doing, okay? That's the first thing. So you got to run ad. Remember this, you know, this is a business, right? Like any other business, you got to spend some money. All right, I know for those people who don't have the fund, then you can do the free way, the free method, you know? But it will take some time, all right? It will be tougher. But if you got some fun, put aside, you know, uh, then you can uh, advertise. Like I said previously, one of the best ways to do is that, you know, try to earn money from some affiliate program, okay? And once you earn the money, use the money to invest in your advertising, okay? That's one advice I can give you. The other thing is that call the people that you know. I'm sure in the warm market, you know a lot of people, right? Call them, that's it. Don't be scared. The only thing they can tell you is no, that's all. Or I know, I know, I know that, you know, you caught them many times before and uh, you have failed many times before, but well, it's a new uh, business. All right. So the only thing they can tell you is no, no will not kill you, my friend. No will make you stronger. That's all. So call your warm prospect. All right. You may have a list, but this is a traditional way, but well, still it's quite relevant, right? So make a phone call to the people that you know of. All right. You, you got a phone, right? So basically, you know, you got the directory in the phone, the telephone number and so on. Yeah, call them. Okay, and the best thing I can tell you now is to use social media. I always stress that social media is so, so, so important today. All right, making a list of 200 names is good. All right, but you have 200 names who get exhausted in a short period of time. But on Facebook alone, you got about 2.5 billion members plus LinkedIn, another 600 million so basically you know you will never never run out of prospect the only thing is how to do it properly that's all a lot of people do not know how to do it properly so they do it the wrong way like, like what i mentioned you know people uh put their cover photo with all the product images uh, the name of the company and so on i mean come on it does not work that way okay so basically uh, uh if you want to know more you know you can go to uh my 
webinar which I'm giving you for free. Okay, you can go to this website. It's called a uh, Dream Webinar. D R E A M W E B I N A R. Okay, dreamwebinar.com. You can go and have a look at the webinar. It's free. All right, it's free. I could have easily charged you for that because it is about one hour of a uh, training I give on how to set up your Facebook pages. You know how to set up your profile, how to do the setting, and so on. So basically, that's using social media is so so important. All right, you need to know and do it properly. Okay. So again, please go for the webinar that I have. Go have a look at it. Okay. I repeat, dreamwebinar.com. Okay. Now, remember that not everyone is a prospect. Okay, not everyone is interested in your business. Not everyone is a prospect. Even those who are network marketing today, right? They are already in another program. They may not be a prospect. You know why? When they are doing network marketing, they already have a set of pro uh, problems that they face, right? When you approach them with your prog program, you are giving them another problem. So the whole thing is to help them solve the problem, not to give them another problem. All right, I mean, come on. They are already in another in, in a, a program, network marketing program. Here you come, you're know, pushing a program to them. Come on. They already have enough problem with their own program. Now you're pushing another new program to them. I think that is not the way to do it. What you need to do is help them solve their problem. All right. And how what is the most important problem that people have? How to generate leads. That's it. That is one of the main problems. How to get prospect. All right, so basically that is why, you know, I came up with that auto webinar whereby, you know, I'll teach you how to get prospect. Okay, so using social media is very important. And remember, not everyone is a prospect. Okay, now don't forget, you know, if you make a name list, you probably put the name list of oh, your uncle, your auntie, your grandfather, your grandmother. Hey, most of them don't have entrepreneur mindset. Okay, remember, network marketing is a business and to be successful, they need to have a a uh, proper mindset, entrepreneur mindset, business mindset, and so on. Okay, now you got to the other thing you need to do is step up your game. That's for sure. You got to step up your game. You cannot remain and do the same thing all over again. All right, you got to step up your game. So how do you do that? Don't appear to be desperate. Okay, remember, don't appear to be desperate. That's why. Don't be desperate. There's so many people outside there. So don't be appear to be desperate. Like, you know, oh, please, you join me because I joined you so many times before. It's, you know, you don't join me. I, I, I very, I'm very disappointed. So don't be desperate. All right. Look for the right people. Okay. The second point here is that we are not in the convincing business. We are in the sorting business. All right. Remember that this is so important. This point is very important. We are in the Sorting business, not convincing business. We are not here to convince people. Remember, I checked previously, you know. Okay, how can you convince and change somebody where their parents couldn't change them for 20, 30 years of their life? Now, here you come, you try to change them. You can't. So what you need to do is look for the right people. Okay, look for the right people with the right leadership, with the right mindset, with the right attitude and so on. There are many outside there. It's a matter of looking. And you don't have to look for a lot, by the way, right? In network marketing, you just need to have a, a handful of good people. That's it. You can build a big, big, big empire. Just a few, a few people. That's all. Okay? So the other thing is the last thing I want to end up with, which I mentioned just earlier as well. Always ask questions. Okay? When I do a message on a Messenger, Okay, I text. I always end with a message. It's important to end with a, a question, all right? End with a question because that's the only way to find out about people. Don't you think so? That's the only way to find out about people is by asking questions and always ask open-ended questions, okay? Open-ended question versus close-ended question. Close-ended question is what? They can answer with a yes or no. Full stop, that's it. But you want an open-ended question whereby... You know, there is room for discussion and so on, all right? They have to answer you, you know, not with a yes or no, that's all, okay? And uh, basically, uh, that's all I'll share with you. I hope that you learned something here, all right? It is uh, very important in any business, especially in network marketing, that you learn how to be able to persuade people, how to close people and so on, okay? So let me, me summarize for you. Persuasion is a very important skill, okay? Now, take the focus off you. And put the focus on your prospect. Are you with me? That's important. Because why? We are now in a we, we, we generation. Not me. Me, 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 me all the time. No more. Alright? We are in the we generation. 
Okay, now, you got to also, you know, uh, don't talk about future benefits. Because why? When you talk about that, you are pushing to them, all right? So talk about how uh, the business can help them to achieve what they are looking for, okay? Now, the other thing is that, you know, uh, what is the aim of uh, prospecting, especially uh, cold prospect? It is not to sell to them or to convince them to join you, but to turn them into warm prospect, okay? Cold prospect. How you want to turn them into warm prospect is by building relationship, by giving value to them. That's so important, okay? Um, now, uh, prospecting tips like, you know, I, I, how to run your advertisement. You need to have advertisement, right, to get prospect and so on. Uh, call people that you know. Uh, social media, very important. Use social media, all right? And remember, this is important. Not everyone is a prospect. Not everyone is interested in your business. Remember that, okay? So basically, the last thing I would say is that step up your game, okay? Don't appear to be desperate. Have posture, important to have posture. Uh, we are in the sorting business, not a convincing business. And lastly, ask questions. Okay, so that's all my sharing for uh, today. I hope that you learned something. If you like what you hear and see, please feel free to like, to share, and to comment. Okay, like, share, and to comment. And Facebook, social media is all about engagement. So please do it. Okay, and uh, you know, that's all my sharing. I thank you for your time that you spent with me here. So, uh, I will see you again uh, on Monday for another session of my Facebook Live, okay? So here's Richard Quack from Malaysia wishing you good night and goodbye.